welcome back it's been a little while since i've told you the update in my handbag collection and i have quite a few new handbags to show you and i'm literally just gonna dive right in hopefully give you a bit of an overview about the bag the review my thoughts if you should buy it if you shouldn't i'm gonna start with this my Givenchy antigona if you've seen my previous handbag collection you'll know that i own a different color Givenchy antigona but i bought the glossy black i think this is the small size this is hands down my favorite bag that i own right now i bought this almost a year ago now and i literally use it every single day when i'm like out and about it fits my shoes if i want like a spare pair of flats or anything in there it fits my laptop it will fit a water bottle it fits everything it's like a mary poppins bag and it doesn't even look that big it doesn't kind of like overtake me and overpower me it's a really great day to night bag it's lasted really well i have a little scratch on the front i think this was from a piece of glass or something but apart from that it is super super durable really easy to wear and i like the strap that goes over your shoulder as well although i do normally hold it like on my arm <sighs> this bag this bag i love so much I think it's even my mum's, but I don't even know anymore because I just take all her stuff anyway and she takes my stuff and we take each other's stuff and then it's like, whose stuff is whose, you know? I absolutely adore the Gucci velvet bags. I think they are so, so, so beautiful. They did bring this one back this season. I think it's sold out again. If I can find it, I will link it below because it is amazing. This is the medium size, I believe. I'll put all the exact sizes and stuff down below, but we also have the small size in pink, which I love as well. I would honestly honestly recommend the smaller size because I can fit enough stuff in there to be honest. If you're a person that carries like a diary or just loads of general stuff with them, I even fit like my pillbox and stuff in here, then this size would probably be for you but I personally prefer the smaller size. I honestly get so many compliments when I wear this bag. I think just because of the color it's so brightening and beautiful. The Gucci velvet does wear well. The only wear that I have is around the popper, kind of where your thumb just ends up kind of going to when you're opening the bag which kind of makes me a little bit sad when I see that it's just worn in that one spot. I think just where our nails just kind of grab it when we open it. Apart from that, it's worn super, super well. Even on the bottom, it's like barely, barely worn. They also have these this season with embroidery on them and they're just so beautiful. They have a navy one. They have them in black. Honestly, one of my all-time favorite bags. My two favorite bags I'm showing you this video are this one and the Givenchy Antigona. They're just, oh. So beautiful. This is another bigger bag. This is by Sage Aubrey. It is the most beautiful blush pink color. That's why I fell in love with it. I actually haven't worn this one so much, but I feel like this is the kind of blush pink that isn't so summery. Like I can get away with wearing this in winter as well. Even with an all black outfit, I can just really see myself wearing this. I just think the shape of it is really unique. Like I don't really own any other bags this style. And you know what really bugs me is when bags don't stand up, but this one will like properly just hold itself up. I know I'm resting it on the arm of the chair right now, so that doesn't really work, but it just holds itself up. So when I'm sitting down and I like put it on the floor in a restaurant or whatever, it has the little buttons at the bottom and it just stands up on its own. I don't know why that's such a big thing for me, but the next bag I'm gonna show you is always just like falling over and then I'm worried stuff's gonna fall out. I also really like that the zip goes all the way across the bag so I can really open it and see what's inside. Some of my problems with bags, not any that I own actually because I'm quite particular about this is that when the zip doesn't open wide enough so you can't open the bag enough to get to the bottom of the bag like that really bugs me whereas this one you can really kind of like spread the bag wide to open it. I really wanted a bag I could wear no matter the season and this color bag I just thought is something that I don't actually own in my collection it's a Valentino bag. This kind of lock to be honest really bugs me because when you have this bag crossbody you're trying to get your stuff out in the store so you open it like this you get your stuff out and then you kind of need to, like 10 different hands and knees to like put it back together i can't describe to you how much it bugs me to have this lot it's never put me off wearing the bag at all but it just isn't convenient because you're trying to close it and faff around while you're doing a hundred other things like paying for something or whatever. I'm very paranoid about people getting into my bag so I always make sure my bags are like closed properly. The clasp just bugs me. It's just not a good lock situation especially when you're trying to like do it with one hand. Apart from that I would say the bag is actually deceivingly small. It does fit your essentials in here but it does look bigger than it is if that makes sense. There's a lot of like extra faff going on that makes the bag look 
bit bigger and then once you actually put your stuff inside you're like huh this doesn't actually fit so much for example i couldn't put my vlog camera and my phone in here but i could put my vlog camera and my phone in here i do really like the gold detailing if you're a gold person then this is definitely the kind of bag that you should look out for because it just kind of ties in with all my gold see do you see that just opened i don't know why it just doesn't freaking shut sometimes there we go and there's nothing even in it a more recent addition is the chloe nile bag now i've been after this kind of color for a while i tried on the chanel boy bag when they had it in this color a couple of years ago and i also tried on the ysl sac du jour in this color as well but for some reason i just didn't end up buying those i didn't love them so much i am in honestly two minds about this bag i love it because i think there are so many cute ways to wear it especially with the gold hoop that you can just have like on your arm i like that it adds extra detail when you wear the bag cross body but i can't even fit my phone in this bag to be honest <laughs> i have three lip products in this bag and that's it but i can't even fit my phone i have the iphone 6 or 7s plus i can kind of fit my keys and my camera that's about it it's really like a bare minimal bag it's not like the kind of bag you can shove a lot of stuff in it does have a back pocket in it i really like how you can adjust the length of the strap depending on how tall or short you are so far i do really love this bag i don't think it's a must-have in anyone's collection i don't love it as much as the Givenchy one i just showed you this bag i absolutely adore i can't even begin to tell you how much i love it i actually got this on the gucci online sale and i've been checking back since and they haven't done a sale yet but this was like a random sale i could never find it when i went onto their website i only found it when you google like gucci sale then you get to the gucci website sale it was really weird but it was actually on the gucci website online anyway i was really dilly dallying about this because i really really wanted the nude shade and i don't really think of myself as like a green bag person i don't really own anything this color but i love the floral so much and i love that it was on sale <laughs> so i ended up buying it and i have not regretted it at all i think it's one of the cutest cutest bags i own every time i see the florals they just make me so happy just because i love pink flowers as you guys know like anything pink anything flowery i absolutely adore it does have a crossbody strap in it but i don't really use it as a crossbody bag i just normally use it and hold the really cute bamboo straps as far as wear is concerned it is amazing it's worn super super well i don't have any scratches no discoloration on the bag the floral hasn't faded or changed color or anything i'm gonna stick with the mini bag theme that i'm going with right now and you might have seen me unbox this chanel bag earlier this year it's a patent chanel it's a really fun little bag actually but to be honest i kind of regret buying it because it was on a whim and normally i do really think about my bag purchases and i do dilly dally over them and think about them with my outfits i normally set myself a goal that i want to achieve before i allow myself to buy it but as i was on a special trip with chanel at the time i decided to make an exception for this bag and this is why you don't buy things <laughs> impulse i do love it i just don't get that much use out of it because i feel like it's such a bright color and most of my clothes as you can see now are quite bright and fun and colorful however it has really turned me onto patent bags just because they're so easy you're never worried about them scratching or stuff getting on it and they're just super super durable if you're someone that just like throws their stuff everywhere or whatever then honestly get yourself a patent bag and can i just say that it fits so much it fits way more than the chloe nile bag i just showed you it'll fit my camera my phone my keys my card holder you can really squeeze a lot of stuff in here so when i talk about it i'm like oh i do love it but i just don't end up reaching for it as much as i would have hoped you'll probably have seen that a lot of people talk and wear the wallet on chain quite a few brands do them gucci does them ysl does them chanel does them i tried to be a wallet on chain kind of girl but i'm just not i have like four lipsticks in my bag i have my wallet probably my vlog camera even if i just have a card holder like wallet on chains are just not for me at all like my car keys there's just so much stuff that i need all the time anyway i saw what i sell did this it's kind of like a bit of a larger wallet on chain it has a little compartment which is just great for your phone you know the kind of essentials like this is the essentials kind of bag it has a lot of different card holder pockets it actually has a zip which i find really useful i do really love this bag just purely because it has so many sections and pockets like that kind of thing just really excites me and you can wear it cross shoulder or cross body as well it even has a little pocket section on the back too this is quite a fun bag for me i fell in love with it because it's kind of like a little half heart this is basically just me in a bag it's just cute and girly it's from coquinelle i never say the name right if someone knows how to pronounce that brand name please please let me know you open it with a little popper it has red on the inside it's just the kind of bag that just 
cheers me up. It's just super easy. I love top handle style bags. This really turned me into top handle style. This bag is super, super, super sweet. It is from a brand called Ming Ray. I love her bags so much. They're basically me in bag form. This one has little hearts on it, which I love. She also has ones with like shooting stars on them. It has a cross body strap in it, but I've never used it. I don't really think the bag suits having a cross body strap. As you can see, it is another top handle bag, which I absolutely love top handle. I just feel like they make me feel sassy when I'm holding the handle. I can't describe it to you. It honestly doesn't fit much in it. It's more of a kind of style looks bag than anything else but it's super 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 sweet i just see it and i just smile because of the hearts they make me so so happy as you know i love heart things everything in my apartment is like heart shaped <laughs> moving on to clutches and this is something that i really love so much it's by a brand called Zeodora. this also has a strap on the inside but to be honest i find the strap a little bit tacky i don't really like it so much i don't really like thin gold straps like this. They're just not really my vibes. It's called the Edelweiss clutch. It is a box clutch, meaning it doesn't fit that much. But when I'm going out for the evening, I don't really bring so much stuff with me anyway. And I just like the pearl and the black and white. It's super easy to wear. It goes with so much. It's just a really easy grab and go clutch to hold. The other clutch I wanted to tell you is my Olympia Le Tan Alice in Wonderland. And I absolutely adore this. I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's such a conversation starter because People always like, is that a book? And then you're like, no, it's not a book. It's just my beautiful, beautiful clutch, which I love so much. And this doesn't fit very much either. That fits less than this because it's just so small. I actually have a key holder and I have to take my keys out of the key holder to put them in the bag. I mean, it really fits nothing, but I don't even care. This like isn't a complaint. It's just a fact because I just love the bag so, so much. I'm honestly always on the lookout for new Olympia Le Tan bags because they're so gorgeous. I love them. You think it actually would be way harder to wear than it is, but actually it's it's not that hard to wear at all. It just seems to go with everything. Even though it's black, I feel like if it was a different color, I would still find it really easy to wear. And then this Valentino clutch I also have, which I love because it fits so much in there. But my sister pointed out the other day, she was like, it doesn't really look like Valentino. It kind of looks like Topshop. And when she said that, I kind of agreed with her. It does have quite a hefty price tag on it. Even though the quality is good, I don't really think it's so worth the price tag that goes alongside it. It does have a gold strap on the inside as well. But again, it's like a thin gold strap and I'm not really like into those with the small clutch bag. But I hope this video was helpful to you. I am going to go. There will be a new video coming your way next week. As I mentioned, everything will be linked down below and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye.